I declare bankruptcy! Restaurants emerge like mushrooms all around the world. Did you know that 80% of restaurant owners started as amateurs in the industry and later transformed into big restaurant chains? In today's video, we'll see nine such restaurants that are on the verge of disappearing. Number one, Subway. This might upset all the Subway lovers out there, but if you look closely, you'll realize that the Subway outlets are not as crowded as they used to be. Even though Subway is regarded as the largest restaurant chain in the world, it's rapidly falling apart. Their sales were brought down, and by 2014, they began to shut down rapidly. By 2018, almost 1,100 outlets were closed. This accounts for 25% of its branches. In the year 2022 itself, more than 500 Subway outlets were shut down. Converting patron possibilities and nutritional trends have stimulated Subway's decline. One of the main reasons is that Subway has tried to mislead its customers with its marketing strategies, claiming to be a healthier version of fast food. But later, the customers discovered that Subway is not a healthy alternative as it claims to be. These troubles have led to numerous Subway locations closures and affected the general brand perception. Number 2. Chipotle Did you know that Chipotle provides its favorite customers with a VIP card called Burritos for Life that grants them free daily burritos for life or for a one-year period? With such attractive marketing strategies, Chipotle has grown rapidly. But despite its preliminary achievement, Chipotle has faced demanding situations inside the restaurant chain industry. One of the principal motives for Chipotle's struggles is the series of food safety incidents it has experienced in recent years. Customers became wary of the chain's commitment to food protection, leading to decreased income and consumer loyalty. Number 3. Red Lobster Red Lobster, a well-known seafood restaurant chain, has faced challenges within the exceedingly competitive restaurant enterprise. One of the main reasons for Red Lobster is high food and labor costs. The restaurant chain reportedly lost over $15.3 million in the third quarter. In current years, there has been a growing emphasis on healthier eating behavior and a shift towards greater various dining alternatives. Red Lobster's menu, which often focuses on seafood dishes, may not align well with those changing preferences. The perception of seafood as costly or less reachable compared to other eating alternatives might have also impacted its attraction to a much broader target market. Additionally, growing seafood expenses have impacted Red Lobster's profitability. As seafood costs fluctuate due to environmental changes and fishing rules, Red Lobster has struggled to keep low-cost menu alternatives even as it turns into nice seafood dishes. Number 4. Buffalo Wild Wings Buffalo Wild Wings is known for its sports bar concept, supplying various wings, beer, and televised sports activities. But recently, it has shuttered many of its outlets. While the brand has loved popularity, it has faced a few demanding situations. The impacts Buffalo Wild Wings has encountered include converting patron preferences and dining trends. As consumer tastes evolve, there can be shifts in demand for certain sorts of cuisine or dining options. Buffalo Wild Wings had also failed to update its menu to cater to converting purchaser alternatives to preserve its enchantment. Competition is another reason for the failure of Buffalo Wild Wings. These factors can affect customer behavior and discretionary spending, affecting Buffalo Wild Wings' performance. Number 5. Applebee's since 2016, the famous restaurant chain Applebee's have closed around 300 outlets. One of the motives often cited for Applebee's struggles is the changing client preferences and dining traits. Applebee's conventional casual dining idea, which gives a wide range of American cuisine, has also struggled to maintain those evolving preferences. Increased opposition is another aspect impacting Applebee's. Number 6. Pizza Hut one of the factors contributing to Pizza Hut's struggles is bankruptcy. The pizza marketplace is particularly saturated, 
with numerous pizza chains and neighborhood pizzerias imparting many alternatives. With a developing emphasis on more healthy eating behavior, some clients have shifted toward alternatives, including artisanal or distinctive pizzas with brisker ingredients. Pizza Hut's conventional menu, which primarily focuses on classic pizza services, has also become much less appealing to fitness-aware customers in search of extra-precise and customizable options. Number 7. Sabaro Sabaro, another pizza chain usually found in shopping malls and airports, has also faced difficulties within the restaurant chain industry. In the last 15 years, the company had shrunk to less than half of what it was in 2004. Several motives may have contributed to its struggles. One huge issue is the changing customer alternatives and dining tendencies. Sabaro's menu usually gives pizza slices and different Italian-American dishes, which won't align properly with those evolving preferences. The perception of Speedy Meals pizza as less wholesome or of decreased quality compared to different dining alternatives can also have impacted Sabaro's appeal to health-conscious consumers. Number 8. TGI Fridays one factor that has led TGI Fridays to struggle is the extended opposition within the casual dining marketplace. Numerous restaurant chains and local options are imparting comparable concepts and menu alternatives. Competitors that offer innovative eating reviews, more energizing ingredients, and sundry delicacy choices might also have attracted customers away from TGI Fridays. Changing patron alternatives and eating traits can also impact a restaurant chain's overall performance. Furthermore, monetary elements and economic downturns or changes in patron spending behavior also impacted this food enterprise. Number 9. Boston Market one of the reasons for Boston Market's struggles is increased competition in the fast informal and brief provider restaurant segments. The industry has experienced a surge of new entrants and evolving eating concepts, imparting various menu options and revolutionary food reports. This heightened competition may additionally have impacted Boston Market's capacity to attract and retain clients. Changing customer alternatives and nutritional tendencies also can affect a restaurant chain's overall performance. As more purchasers seek healthier, fresher, and extra-customizable meal options, Boston Market's focus on conventional domestic fashion dishes may have emerged as less attractive to fitness-conscious customers looking for lighter and more numerous selections. And that concludes our dialogue on the nine eating place chains which can face an unsure future. As usual, thanks for joining me on this journey. If any of your favorite restaurants were mentioned in the video, don't forget to like the video and click the bell icon. If you think I've left out any restaurants, please add them in the comment section below. Goodbye, guys!